My name is Will Petrovic, and I'm the Student Vice President of Net Literacy. On February 22, 2010, Net Literacy held a press conference with the Indiana Department of Education to announce the Financial Connects High School and College Financial Literacy Challenge. Through the support of State Farm's Youth Advisory Board, Net Literacy is able to provide over 100 prizes to those that create videos and interactive games that teach financial literacy. Please listen as Dr. Shauna Findlay, the Director of Curriculum and Instruction at the Indiana Department of Education, opens the press conference. I'm Shauna Findlay, Director of Curriculum with the um, Indiana Department of Education. It's my pleasure to have you here this morning. Um, to help address the economic crisis facing our nation, the legislature enacted a requirement for all middle and high school students to participate in personal financial responsibility instruction. And that became effective during the 2009 and 10 school year. We're pleased to recognize the efforts of net literacy. They have stepped up to develop a resource network aligned to the Indiana Financial Literacy Education Academic Standards. And today we want to spotlight their efforts to involve students in creating resources to teach others about personal financial literacy while developing their own learning in the process through the development of videos and interactive video games. We also want to greatly thank State Farm for their support of these efforts and the awards that they will be providing to the Financial Connects contest winners. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you David Johnson to tell you more about the program. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Johnson. I'm the student chair of Net Literacy and a sophomore at IPS Northwest High School. Founded by middle school students, Net Literacy has increased computer access to over 130,000 individuals, received awards from two U.S. presidents, and has an honorary board that is chaired by the U.S. Senators Luger and Bayh, and includes our own lieutenant governor. Net Literacy's board is 50% comprised of students, and students do all the volunteering and community service work. We are especially proud that in March of 2009, Net Literacy Student Board met with Dr. Bennett, Indiana Superintendent for Public Instruction, and unanimously named him the Net Literacy Hero and his dedication for student success. The recession has been devastating for many Americans, and, has general, and the general lack of financial literacy has contributed to this crisis. Last year, the Indiana Department of Education began teaching 6th to 12th grade high school students financial literacy to help better provide students with critical life skills. So there's no place better appropriate to hold this press conference than at the Indiana Department of Education. And we are grateful for Dr. Bennett and the Indiana Department of Education to support and withhold and, ha and hold up our community service. And we appreciate their advocacy. Last year, Net Literacy Student Board recognized the need to increase financial literacy, and we have begun working on our fifth program, which is called Financial Connects. We are almost ready to launch a website that has highlighted 200 best of class financial literacy games and videos after a review of 5,000 websites, along with 20 videos that we, Net Literacy students, volunteered to create this summer. I'm going to play four of the videos that we produce about internet financial literacy and awareness. After this, Net Literacy's board member, Sean Quo, will talk about the important role State Farm is playing for helping all of us increase our financial literacy. And now, Sean Quo. Good morning. My name is Sean Coyle, and I am a Net Literacy Board Member and a senior at Rebuff Jesuit Preparatory School. State Farm's Youth Board also recognized the lack of financial literacy among students as a national crisis and designated increasing financial literacy as one of their five national service learning priorities. Net Literacy proposed building a national financial literacy website to challenge middle school, high school, and college students to create interactive uh, videos and games to correlate with the Indiana Department of Education's high school financial literacy standards. These games and videos 
will be more serious than those created during our summer program. And they will cover a variety of topics, ranging from credit and debt to savings and investing. In addition to this, we are launching a significant national competition that will offer over 100 opportunities to win from $250 up to $1,000 that encourage students and class projects to learn about financial literacy using a project-based learning methodology. Additional information about the contest is available by visiting netliteracyalliance.org's blog section. State Farm has long been known as a company that millions of Americans put their trust into for protection from the unforeseen. Many Americans also know that State Farm is a national leader in providing everything from service excellence to giving back and supporting the communities that they serve. For example, State Farm and Net Literacy are both committed to increasing our nation's high school graduation rates, are members of America's Promise Alliance, and both participated in a national gathering of educators, students, and nonprofits to increase student success in Washington, D.C. last September. But what may not quite be well known to everyone is State Farm's trust and commitment to youth. We feel that one of State Farm's most important community service initiatives was establishing a National Youth Advisory Board comprised of students across America and empowering them with the responsibility of identifying service learning projects to fund with $5 million each year. We are grateful to have been chosen with, uh, to be given such a significant grant by the State Farm Youth Advisory Council, but we're equally grateful that State Farm believes, as does Net Literacy, that America's youth are not tomorrow's leaders, but today's. David, back to you. I want to thank the Department of Education for hosting this press conference and helping to increase the financial literacy among the students. And on behalf of more than 1,000 students that serve at Net Literacy's volunteers, State Farm, we thank you for believing in and empowering America's youth. At Net Literacy, we learned that while one person can make a difference, together we can change the world. Uh, the board received over 1,100, uh, the youth body board received over 1,100 applications, and net literacy was one of 82 that were granted. So that's a huge accomplishment. So, <laughs> so our project uh, really reinforces some of uh, the cornerstones of State Farm. One, giving back to the community, given it's a service learning project. Um, two, uh, literacy. Uh, and then three, um, education, really committed to education. So, um, their project really encompasses all that we uh, care about with the Barcelona youth. So, again, thank you and um, wonderful job, Joe. Thank you. So, on behalf of State Farm, here's a check to Matt Lucy for $97,999.60. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words, and the grant made possible by State Farm's Youth Advisory Board has allowed net literacy to engage students throughout America to become financially literate. 